guys, welcome to this video. So today we are going to be doing a pretty special video. We are doing three easy Thanksgiving treats that you can make in a pretty quick amount of time. They're all really tasty. So all of these Thanksgiving desserts you could bring to the Thanksgiving party. You could munch on them throughout the week. They're easy enough and they are packable enough that you could totally use them on Thanksgiving Day. So what are we going to be making today? Okay, so you have your basic sugar cookie, uh, the fun one to make with kids or just portable. They yeah. look really pretty. Too. Yeah, cute. Then we bump it up from there and we are doing something that's a little bit more, looks like you spent a lot of time doing it. It's very yummy. It includes Nutella, crescent roll, Croissant. Really gooey, delicious. Very good. Looks like you slave for hours. So fancy. And then the third is something actually you can either have as a breakfast, grab and go while you're making your turkey in the morning, pack them up and bring them to grandma's house or auntie's or wherever you're going. Pumpkin puree muffins. Mm, so yummy. Very fall. Yes. So the first recipe that we're headed straight into, we are doing the sugar cookies. And we have these cute little cutouts. They are Thanksgiving themed. So we got a little turkey, fall leaves, a pumpkin, and a little dude. A little pilgrim dude, not just any dude, a pilgrim dude. So we have already washed our hands and we've set out all that we need for this. We have our foil down here so it makes it a little easier when we're gonna roll out the sugar cookie dough. Um, it's nice to make your own sugar cookie dough, but we decided to go store bought because sometimes you don't have all the time in the world to do that. And we have three recipes we're tackling today, yeah. so we thought, let's just get this guy. I'm adding a little flour to my rolling pin right now because it makes it so it doesn't stick as much to the thing, to the dough, to the thing. I'm gonna make little roots. Smushies. Little smushies. Good job, Tina. Thanks. <laughs> what do you wanna do first? The folly leaves. I'll do a leaf one. Okay, if that's what that means. Now we're just taking our cookie cutters and cutting. So we have our sugar cookies all carved out. What do you call these? Stamped out. Stamped out. Ready to go. And now we're gonna put it in the oven. We preheated the oven at 350, so it's ready to go now. Cookies are done! So the cookies just came out of the oven and they have been on the pan for only about a minute. And so we, while they're still hot, we're going to put cinnamon sugar on and we have that in these cute little apples. And we also have some red sprinkles to give it a little extra pop. Okay, so on to our next recipe, the easiest one. We are doing the Nutella croissants, AKA heaven. They're delicious. <laughs> and this is all we need right here. And so we are gonna go in with these whack them on the counter crescent rolls. We're gonna whack them on the counter. When I was little, I used to love to whack these on the counter. Remember when we used to do that yeah. for like savory biscuits? We could make another recipe on those. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, gotta wait. peel it first. Oh, you gotta right. unpeel it. That's what's scary is what happened to me. You start to unpeel it and something. Where's the peeler? Yeah. Where it says right here. Okay, okay. This is why I need you in my life. That's good enough, hun. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. So much fun. So this recipe calls for a greased pan, so we put some pan spray on there. And now we are just unrolling them and separating the croissants. There's little perforation lines. Okay, sometimes you have to piece them together because they come from the can kind of weird. But that's okay. Once you cook it up, no one knows the difference. That much in each. About this much per roll up. Any more and then it goos out too much. Okay. Okay. 
make sure you tuck the little flaps over like that to keep all that Nutella goodness inside. So just like that, like a little envelope. So now I have 16 croissants and I'm gonna put them in the oven. So the Nutella croissants are done. We ended up putting them in for about like 10, 12 minutes instead of eight but we wanted them nice and golden brown. All right, so we have this beautiful plate for our display. Okay, so usually you want to powder sugar, anything that's a warm powdered sugar dessert on the plate you're gonna serve it. Otherwise, they start to get, melt and get um, kind of messy. So yeah, you want it to look as pretty and gently yeah. so sugared as possible. We waited for these to cool for about five minutes so we don't burn ourselves while moving them. And we're just gonna place them on the plate as we would for presentation. Usually you want to put powdered sugar through a sifter so you don't have clumps. So Tina, you just do this whole thing. Let's try one. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's. How about the one on top? That would be easiest. Okay. Can we split it in half? Okay. Just had to go up close to show you how yummy this is. Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So moving on to the last final recipe. We are doing our pumpkin cream cheese muffins. And we're gonna start out doing the cream cheese first. That way we can have it chilling in the fridge while we're working on the actual muffins. So it's actually cream cheese frosty. Yeah. Yeah. So we're working on the cream cheese frosty. Yeah. So to make the cream cheese frosty, what you wanna do if you have a KitchenAid, you wanna package a cream cheese, an eight ounce package, and this is straight from the fridge, right in there. A stick of butter. We had this sitting at room temperature for probably a half hour and that's what you want to do and then just get those creamed together lock in your bowl lock course. in the bowl I'm going back okay you okay all right then we're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract I go over the bowl because I know mm -hmm. I'll spill and a little extra won't hurt, right? Yep, that's good. Okay. So we're going to slowly add the three cups of powdered sugar that we have in this bowl here. And we're going to add about a cup at a time. So not all at once, otherwise it will look like a winter wonderland in here. When you whip your cream cheese frosting, the final result should look like this. Okay, so we pre-made the frosting and it's chilling in the fridge. We're going to go ahead and start with the muffin mix. That is a cup and a half of flour or two cups of flour. What did you do? I put in two cups of flour. Okay, so two cups of flour. Two teaspoons of baking powder. We want after that is a half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon. I'm going to just eyeball that. Like that. So then we want a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of nutmeg, and a half a teaspoon of ginger. Putting in a half a cup of sugar. And then kind of mix this together. So get it mixed, all the dry ingredients mixed together. This is my mixer dance. And then you're gonna add the wet ingredients. I love doing this part. So we're gonna put a half a cup of milk in here. A 
don't know why I'm going through the whole, but I'm just making sure you don't get a challenge, you know. So now we're putting in one cup of pumpkin puree, the star of this dessert, with the muffins. We're putting a third cup of oil in here, vegetable oil. Okay, so you always want to crack your eggs in a separate bowl, so in case you get, you know, a bad egg okay. or something, you don't ruin the whole batch. It's a good one. It's a goodie. Now we're going to mix it all together. Oops. Mm, that smells so good. I smell the ginger in that bag. Okay, so now we are moving on to the little muffin holders and we're going to put them in our muffin pans and we're going to spray them with pan spray so they don't stick to the paper. To the paper. To the paper. Time to put it in the oven. So we're just putting it in at 400 degrees and for 20 minutes. Ew. All right, so now the muffins have had their time to cool and it is time to apply the cream cheese frosting. So you can either spread the frosting on your muffin just with a knife or you can pipe frosting on and if you have like a cake decorating tool set you can use just whatever kind of little piper you want or if you don't have this but you still want to have that piping look you can just do a little hack and use the Ziploc bag and fill it with your cream cheese frosting, snip the corner just a little bit with the scissors and then you can just pipe with the bag without the actual little tip. So either way will work. We're going to spoon in our frosting. you guys so I hope you really enjoyed this video I hope you learned something hopefully you found a new favorite Thanksgiving treat if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it to your mom share it to your grandma share it to anyone who likes yummy food keep smiling and have a wonderful day and then my turn to you would be like <laughs> okay I have a snot bubble <laughs> okay Hi guys, welcome back to this. Are you laughing? That's <laughs> insane. Do you have something to add? I don't. <laughs> we need a rolling pin, that's for sure. What? Okay, so just so you know, you go towards the edge. You go as far around the edges as possible. Now you've left no room for anything. <laughs> Natalie's up now. Say hello. Epe! Epe in the coal holes. We're gonna lose our power. The lights are flickering. It's super windy and stormy. We might lose our power, so we have two recipes down, one to go. Wish us luck. We need another man. Get a man, get a man, get a man. Whoa, flickering lights. That looks like he's got big ears. What? <laughs> it looks like he's got big ears. Uh oh. Um, no. Shut up. What the heck is that? Oh, that's a leaf! I worked so hard. <laughs> that, one, that wasn't good. Huh? What the heck? It's kind of salty. <laughs> this is how your fingers scrambling. <laughs> I want a functional looking man. I want to rule we all. Say hi, hi, hi. Okay, so the cookies just came. What are you doing over there? <laughs> Try to relax my face. <laughs>
<laughs> Woo! Okay. So to make the cream cheese, no, mom, you can't start when I'm talking because okay. it's really hard to edit because I'll be like, ah, ah, at the beginning of your set. Okay. Okay. okay so, oh gosh, you look like Felina. Out in the West Texas town of El Paso. <laughs> Perforation lines. Perforation? Perforation. What do you call them? <laughs> what are you eating? No. Okay, you want about this much. You got chocolate on you? <laughs> you got chocolate all over you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wow. Sing it out. Now, what are we going to do with all these goopy spoons, Christina? I don't know. What are we going to do? Last time I carried a tray of food, it plopped to the ground. It was sushi. Okay. So, um, just kidding, that wasn't the last time. Gloves, that pan is not, not hot yet. Apparently I don't need gloves. No, nope. well don't touch the back. Say a little prayer for me. In the Let's be honest, you know, this isn't just Thanksgiving. You can do this oh, no. any time. We have this all throughout the year, more times than we'd like to admit. I'll get out of the picture. You're, you're in the side just right over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do that. Put that anywhere. I'm giving it to you. Here you go. Action. 